Here are 12 of the most weird and awesome species of ants. Acacia ants. Not only do they live in acacia trees, they have unique symbiotic relationships with the plants as well. The queens of some species of acacia ants will lay eggs inside the hollow thorns of the trees. As the colony expands, more of those hollow thorns are inhabited. When there are around 400 individuals, they begin to act like tiny gardeners. They attack creatures that want to feed off of the tree's leaves, like crickets. And they'll go after mammals like goats, often stinging the heads. They even repel other plants, like vines. As a reward for the ant's efforts, the tree provides a rich, sugary nectar at the base of its leaves. Experts say that without those ants, the trees would be left exposed to damage from aggressive insects and competing plant species alike. Fire ants. There are actually almost 300 different species of this ant worldwide. Known for their aggressiveness, fire ants can repeatedly sting animals and humans, and can attack in groups that consist of hundreds of the insects. Stings are not lethal unless you happen to be allergic to the ant's venom. However, it is estimated that perhaps 1% of the population is hypersensitive to ant venom. Allergic reactions can be fatal, and if multiple stings are received, even a healthy person could suffer severe reactions like anaphylactic shock. Shock. Dracula ants. Well, these critters do not turn into bats and fly away, but they do have a taste for blood. The insects were found in Madagascar, but are rarely collected because they spend the majority of their lives in tiny colonies underground or inside rotting logs. The creatures have elongated jaws, and those two big pincers are used for grabbing hold of prey, usually centipedes or beetle larvae. They are linked to vampires because they chew holes into the victims before slurping out their hemolymph which is kind of like the insect equivalent of blood. Meat ant. Now, as its name implies, this insect from Australia can be carnivorous. Its name is inspired by its behavior of stripping the meat off of dead vertebrates. It's actually a way that the insects can help farmers by removing the carcasses from the land in a matter of weeks. Highly aggressive, Meat ants are known for building large, oval, mound-like nests that can reach more than six and a half feet in diameter. And single colonies have been documented to contain 85 nests that occupied more than 25 acres. Did you know, experts say meat ants might help in areas of pest control in Australia. Because they appear to be immune to the toxins of the cane toad, the insects could be recruited to help kill off that invasive species. Maricopa harvester ant. When you hear this creature described as a common species of harvester ant, you might be inclined to dismiss it. So you wouldn't really expect it to carry the world's most toxic insect venom. At more than 10 times as powerful as honeybee venom, a dozen stings from this ant is enough to kill a four and a half pound rat. In humans, it can produce excruciating pain that can last for hours. Harvester ants will attach themselves to the victims to repeatedly sting them and inject them with venom. Jack jumper ants. These ants are found in Australia and can get pretty large at more than one and a half inches long. They're called jack jumper ants because some species are known to demonstrate a jumping behavior when they're agitated, and they're known for their aggressive behavior. They're also known for their painful stings. In fact, the stings are recognized as one of the most painful among insects, and the venom is considered among the most toxic. If humans are allergic to the venom, anaphylactic reactions can occur, and in many cases, that has proved fatal. Did you know these ants have such large mandibles that they have been used as sutures to close wounds? Acrobat ants. Now, these ants are found worldwide and are identified by their unusual heart-shaped abdomens, which has led to the nickname St. Valentine's ant. They're usually referred to as acrobat ants, though, because most species tend to be arboreal, that is, they live in the trees. They prey on other insects, especially wasps, and they have a unique way of capturing the victims. The ants will shoot venom from the abdomens in a type of froth or spray that can immobilize an aggressor. The ants can also lay scents from the abdomens for a variety of purposes, including marking a trail toward food and to recruit other ants for assistance during an attack. 
Shining Gastant. Now that is quite an unusual name, but it is given to the ant because of its winning way of cohabiting with other ant species. This parasitic critter is known to quietly settle into the nests of around 11 ant species. A single Shining Guest colony can live in multiple host nests simultaneously. They manage to feed off the host's efforts in large part because they taste awful. Whenever a guard from the host colony grabs one, they are immediately released due to the repellent flavor. Experts say shining guest ants are the only ant species known to employ this gustatory tactic. It works well enough to allow some host mounds to be infiltrated by 100 shining guest ant colonies. Amazing spider ants. Now here is an ant that could easily have been crossbred with a spider. Just look at its ant-like body. And it has eight legs, like an arachnid. Is it really a cross-species hybrid? Well, actually, no. And we are cheating a bit on this one here. This is actually a spider that mimics an ant, but it does look like it could go either way. Ant mimicry appears in spiders and many other organisms for a number of reasons. Ants are found all over the world, and many predators like birds and wasps avoid them due to their aggressive nature, or because they don't agree with the palate. Some creatures mimic ants as a means to escape predators, and others mimic ants to hunt them down actively. Longhorn Crazy Ants There are five species of crazy ants, and they don't get the name because they drive you crazy. It's because they dart around erratically instead of following a straight line. This crazy ant has also displayed some crazy behavior and abilities as well. They're able to invade new habitats and overthrow other species of ants found there. Located in Arizona, Biosphere 2 was a fully contained environment which had an ecosystem with no dominant ant species. Now that was in 1991. By 1996, the longhorn crazy ant had virtually ejected all other ant species. In addition to being dominant, these critters can even clone themselves. Experts say that when the queen ant wants a daughter, she can lay an egg that is her genetic duplicate. And if she wants a son, then she mates with a male and produces a clone of the father. The offspring are essentially genetic copies, identical to the parents. Trap jaw ants. Now they get their name due to the scary looking mandibles. They're long and straight and can open a full 180 degrees. After being locked in place, the mandibles can rapidly snap shut, not unlike a spring-loaded trap. When sensory hairs inside the powerful mandibles are touched, they close on the prey with enough force to maim or kill the victim and then take it back to the nest. Experts say the ant's jaws are the fastest moving predatory appendages found in the animal kingdom. On average, they can clamp down within 130 milliseconds at speeds of more than 140 miles per hour. Did you know these critters are also known as rocket ants? That's because the mandibles have some other uses as well. They can be used to propel the ants away from threats, or they can be used as catapults to eject intruders. And before we get to the number one ant species on the list, let's review our honorable mentions here. Now, they are two of the better known ant species, but we have to give them some shout outs just because their fame precedes them. Army ants are comprised of some 200 species and are found from North and South America through Africa and Asia. They have huge machete-like jaws that can measure about half the insect's length of around a half inch. The entire colony can number more than a million individuals. They'll swarm over and take down any living obstacle in the path, no matter the size. They've even been known to tear through critters the size of a horse. And bullet ants, they're known for the painful bite, well known. They get the name because victims say the bite feels like they've been shot with a bullet. The venom can leave the victim worn out, weakened, and swollen and the condition can last for 24 hours non-stop. But the effects aren't fatal unless there's an allergic reaction to the venom. And while the venom is enough to scare you off, so is the size. They are one of the world's largest species of ant. Planet of the Ants. Now, experts tell us there is an ant species from the ancient woodlands of Ethiopia identified as L. 
senescence, and it has shown early indications of supercolony formation. Supercolonies are more than a nest. They are made up of colonies that can stretch for thousands of miles, and they are unconstrained from expanding the range. Only 20 species of ant worldwide are known to exhibit this behavior, but L. canescens has already produced several supercolonies, some of which have spanned some 24 miles. Now that size represents the largest supercolonies yet described for an ant species. More troubling is their expanding population and ecological domination. Those are traits of an invasive species. The area in which the ants are found is attracting more tourists, and as that traffic increases, so does the chances of ants hitching a ride in luggage or in plant material. Some researchers suggest that the Ethiopian forest could represent ground zero for a dominant species of ant that might one day launch a global invasion. You have been warned.